Welcome back to the Game by Quiz and we are back for the first thing, our Epic Universe update of 2024. Welcome back. This is so good. I'm finally get an update in. It's about a month out since the last one. So yeah, we have a lot to go over. A lot of changes. So let's get right into it. Well, as we can see from these beautiful aerial shots, that uh, yeah, the site keeps on growing and buildings keep on popping up and a lot of stuff is being finished and a lot of uh, finishes are being applied to some of these buildings. So... Uh, let's go land by land, starting off with the Celestial Park and see what we got going on here. Taking a look at the water features of the Celestial Park, we should be, we should be getting some more information on that in, in about 10 days or so. You can see the bridges, the pedestrian bridges are forming and uh, all the concrete is just about finished. But a lot of dirt pathways, a lot of dirt still where the pathways are going to go. But all the water features, the pools for them are done, which look absolutely fantastic. And let's take a look at the Constellation Carousel. You see the Constellation Carousel, which I think is rumored or uh, permit for installation should be February or March. But the Shelley attraction is done and it looks just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just fantastic. I wonder if they're still putting some of those. Looks like they still got some, got to finish in putting those plates in the little slits right there. But the, the major shell of the attraction looks just about done and looks gorgeous. So with, Again, the ride mechanics. I believe Alicia still have found a permit for uh, waiting for those for installation in March. That'd be exciting to watch. Taking a look at the small children's splash pad. All the infrastructure work it looks to be complete for that. And there is the audience seating that is just about wrapped up for the stadium show or the World of Color type show at the fountain in the back. Speaking of that World of Color type show, it looks like you got a blue coating on the bottom of it. Maybe uh, to give the illusion that the pool is deeper than it actually is when it is filled with water, which would be pretty cool. It'll be almost like a forced perspective thing, but it'll be just with the water still much deeper than it actually is. Looking at Star for Racers, or just the uh, this area of Celestial Park, where I believe this is a restaurant. You can see the uh, Harry Potter entrance area and a couple of restaurants, as well as the Star for Racers entrance area, which is wrapping up in the, again, its own little plaza area. That is wrapping up and moving on in and the end star fall race is looking good as well with all that steel what i'm sure will be covered a little bit later on here's a restaurant or that restaurant they'll be overlooking the waterfalls and celestial park and again two waterfall big pools are done and just waiting for water installation but a lot of the pathways around it are still dirt and even the cascading waterfall area is done not just a whole bunch of dirt around it can't wait to see that stuff get wrapped up in the next few months here and that wraps it up for slice to park let's go into the lands themselves now one by one as always starting with the dark universe you can see immediately um in the center of this picture the barn like structure for the curse of Were werewolf culture is got its final coating on it looks very creepy and spooky and this is that whole aesthetic that's going throughout the entire land i think it looks absolutely fantastic it's very dark very creepy let's uh discuss let's kind of dive right in there here is the entrance, yes. The entrance portal to the uh, land looks fantastic. Beautiful as always. All topped up, just like in the last photo. But the village has lots of scalping on it. And you can even see some of the paint job is, has been finished. And some of the scalping has come off on the village structures. Revealing this kind of rocky, kind of gothic facade. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. Taking a deeper dive look inside the village, you can see more scalping and some cool curved rooftops coming out of the portal area into the village entry and tons and tons of just steel and scaffolds right, right there as the village wraps up along with the exit portion to the right hand side there. Taking a more uh, front ver front more look at the village here you can see again those rock walls that are just are finished the rest of the village will look just like that and I really love this final look it looks absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. Here are some of the rooftops of the village, which will have some of that. We'll probably end up looking at look, look like the barn at the Curse of the Werewolf coaster when it's done. Because remember, the Curse of the Werewolf looked at that blue kind of t filing or tile on it um, before it got its final finish. So that the rooftops of the village will probably look just like that. But you can see the paint job is done on the back side of the vil village. All the painting of this gothic kind of black color has been painted on the back side of the village building. Taking a close look at the curse of the werewolf coaster, you have a lot of the scout, a lot of the the pathways starting to form for the interior queue, and some 
dead looking trees. I wonder if that'll be the final. I think that is the final landscaping because, you know, going to be creepy dead looking trees. So you have those trees looking good right there. And here's a look at the final break run in the final show scene. We have some of those, again, that support structure um, popping up. They're still waiting for the, the roofing of that. What could be a final show scene? Maybe a couple of animatronics in there. But the station is just about done and looks great as well with those that those roof shingles that beautiful same black color as in the rest of the land continuing that black or dark gray motif the frankenstein uh frankenstein monsters unchained the entrance looking great there the rock walls have been just about all topped off with the spikes on top so people don't sit on them but also as to the thematic nature it looks absolutely gorgeous fast just waiting for a little bit of the scaffolding left to come off and then the whole facade here will be revealed obviously it's not entirely finished there's some, some rooftop pieces on the very top of the um the main structure has to be installed some exposed steel is still there as well as some obvious big white spots that will probably be uncovered or painted in um maybe those will probably be windows that probably um they're probably covered up on that will probably be taken out when the scaffolds are done but yeah this facade attraction looks fantastic, and I love the um, the extended queue there. Reminds me of the Haunted Mansion's extended queue here at Disneyland um, that is actually getting the remodel to, and that very gothic, creepy look there. Moving on to the next photos over here, you have the Frankenstein restaurant here. The windmill, we finally got a full look at the windmill, and it's actually a lot fatter than I thought it was going to be. I'm, th I'm thinking a you know, windmill skinny, like a typical you know, farm windmill, not like a... Not like the uh, solar ones, but the, you know the, the typical farm windmills. But this is, this is this one's a chunky one, which makes sense because there's a lot of mechanics in there to make it light up and flames at nighttime. But the walls look fantastic, as well as the outdoor patio area looks pretty cool as well. Here's a, another shot, a close shot of the windmill restaurant, and it actually is pretty tall. It's definitely a nice beacon for the area, the back of the area, kind of draw you in and be like, what's that? And I'm sure hopefully. I'll oh, have some nice barbecue. I'm not sure what type of restaurant this is, but I feel like this will be a cool barbecue restaurant. I can't wait to see the little the mini show they are going here at night or just see the windmill go up in flames. Here's just one last shot of the, the Curse of the Werewolf Coaster looking all gorgeous and ready to go for its debut. Let's go over to the Helios Grand Hotel and see the dome is getting ready to be installed and the the facade has caught up and it's almost across all levels there. The facade looks absolutely gorgeous for this uh, hotel this is gonna be a luxury hotel that uh you know has entrance right into the park and the dome structure you see a little close look here it's getting ready to be installed there's a temporary um support in the center of there to hold up the steel and the scaffolds until the actual dome structure gets installed but yeah this is a this is a topping out here and this will be quite a nice icon for the park that big steel structure over there is the space for a uh, ballroom that i'm sure Guests will be able to rent out for the private par private parties and have like um, different events up there with the views of the park and different fireworks viewing areas, which would be pretty cool. Let's hop over to Harry Potter and see what's gone going over there. Slowly but surely, the uh, scaffolding is coming off of the facades of the Harry Potter related land here. You can see right where that yellow arrow is. You can see all the scaffolding is off and facade is work or yes, facade work is commencing with window installation happening as well lots of uh facades have moved on to the next step over where the force protection force perspective area is going to be as well just another shot of the intersections the intersections of five streets there for this gigantic land and showing you that some of the roofs and scaffolding again this should be coming off slowly but surely over the next several months and this land will be complete Here's a look at the one of those interior courtyards, just a closer look over here, and you can see again some of that roof scaffolding has come off, and the roof is done with the darker shades um, ready to go, just like looking just like Paris over there. And there's the Arc de Triomphe, looking fantastic with two murals, although the painting of the facade work on the left side has been done, but a mural is being pointed painted on the right side i'm not sure what this will be but it'll be cool if it had like maybe like a wizard holding a wand or something we'll have to see what type of artwork uh forms on this side and just a quick look at the front of the land with the elder wand the wizard holding the elder wand over there with the little path the little plaza pathway as well as the entrance and exit to the land and a little hut forming 
and still over there to the right hand side and one last look at the harry potter later land um just the whole thing just from a different perspective see some of that facade work i can't wait to see um the facades all be done in this land sooner rather than later moving on to the how to chain the dragon area isle of burke looking fantastic here is a picture of me meat hall in the roller coaster station the roller, roller coaster station is just about complete looks like no work is the needs to be done there except for maybe uh, something on the chimneys but the meat hall looks fantastic with this big big massive rock work rock piece um getting to the next phase of construction as well here's a, just a, another angle of that art piece right there that rock work right there as well as the station to the boat ride the mock splash metal rope boat ride rumored to be called fire drill you can see all the wood has been installed for the top of that station and even the lookout area as well is all covered for that attraction taking a closer look into the doors for the mead hall you can see that massive gigantic rock work look how big look how big that door is that rock work is just is ready to be sculpted it's been pla put into place and scaffolding is installed ready for it to be sculpted and painted and ready to go looking at the fire drill attraction you can see again as i stated the roof is all the roof for the station is all been all but complete and lots of supports for the attraction for other theming elements such as those trees there'll be other cartoony type elements for and this attraction for everyone to splash at and for maybe like splash targets and stuff it'll be a really fun attraction i really can't wait for this here's a a view of the coaster area uh, some landscaping has um, been spotted on the maintenance bay area and the final break run for the coaster and the and the first launch the rest of the coast site is dirt but more landscaping will appear as the months go on here's a look at the first launch area you can see the roof has been installed for there this is where the rumor one of the rumored areas where uh, toothless animatronic or hip hiccup or both of them will be there'll be the two launch sections and the, those two launch sections will be uh, a spot for them to appear this will be one of those spots so that'd be cool to see if we can see them be installed but they'll probably be installed later on when this uh area is fully finished here's that second launch area the rock work has been um covered in moss in particular sections this again is where tooth is on hiccup will be spotted potentially rumor has it and this is the second final launch and behind that is a, a before that is a play area which has been encased in rock work and looks fantastic just really really waiting installation of the equipment itself then this area should be done and that brightly colored building or brightly colored facade to the right hand side I believe will be a candy shop of some some sort which would be great for the kids after they're done playing or to get them in the mood to start playing here's a look at the how to train a dragon or olive burke facade that will portal facade and it looks fantastic again the big stuff has already been installed but they got some more um steel mesh there because this will be a, almost like a giant rock a lot of rock work covering this uh portal as well and you can see the installation for that is getting ready to be prepped right now last but not least let's check in on super Ten super nintendo world and the donkey kong area here's the super nintendo world entrance portal some of which is now being painted green that's nice and we also have uh, some brickwork being installed on the left and right sides of the portal entry and that's where you'll take the escalator up into the land the port the war pipes themselves you can see them they still have not, not been painted yet i'm not, not sure if those are the pipes like they're just going to paint those poles or those are supports for the actual war pipes but um those will be probably installed a little bit later this is definitely the slowest of the four portals but um it's funny the one we most know what's going to look like um going inside to the mushroom kingdom Mario Motors and Bio Car Bowser's Challenge have gotten lots of facade work. Bowser's Challenge entrance, or Bowser's Castle, is the farthest along here, but the route, all the concrete has been done. It looks like the entire land really is on that kind of dark gray phase. Then they're going to go ahead and get some more paint jobs and facade work. Can't wait to see the Mario Motors um, sign and stuff. Looking at Mount Beanpole, they're just waiting for the installation of the flag. I'm very curious about this because. Our flag in Hollywood here is a little bit small, at least because it's so far down. Um, it seems small. I wonder if the uh, uh, the flag here at the top of Mount Beanpole will be similar or larger than the one here in Hollywood. I'm very curious about that. Mount Beanpole looking the most complete in the Mushroom Kingdom. Um, looks just very familiar to ours here in Hollywood and in Tokyo as well. 
All the Yoshis are on the track and they've even been testing. They have test dummies in them as well. Um, they're not all green. They're just a green covering over them. They're all different colors, just like in Tokyo. Um, but yeah, so it'll be nice. This attraction should be great. Family friendly attraction for everyone, especially when uh, the line for Bowser Challenge gets too long. And yeah, we know that line will be hectic, especially the Donkey Kong line as well will be very hectic, as we know from Japan and I'm sure Holly uh, Hollywood and soon to be Japan. And let's take a look over at the Donkey Kong roller coaster. The temple section here, we got some more pieces of the temple being installed. Just one last massive chunk left, but then the temple, broken temple theming will be complete and you can see the the uh, broken tracks there can't we see those obstacles be installed as the months go on and we'll have a look at this coast in just a couple months when it opens in universal studios japan which i'm very excited for looking at the donkey kong meet and greet looking at that one's almost complete and this is where we'll be jumping over the water in this particular segment that area is done just waiting for the water itself and just a lot of scalping for a potential show scene over to the left hand side there here's just a wider shot of that broken temple theming a lot of scalping over to the middle and right hand sides but yeah that should be coming off soon as those pieces get installed and can't wait to see you testing on this coaster i'm sure they're actually testing mario kart browser challenge or should be because that's in fully indoor right so we don't know what they're doing but if they're testing yoshi they should probably be testing mario kart sooner very soon and i'm excited for them to be testing donkey kong uh that'll be the next one and I feel like they might be testing this one soon as well. Speaking of testing, when we see a testing, they'll be going up this first launch here, and that's the entrance station right there. The whole temple facade is painted gold here in this particular section, and they're just really working on the lift hill, and then they'll be good to go on this front end of the section. The steel is being installed for where the big giant monkey set piece will be going. That will be the start of the waterfall that will lead into that eventual segment where you where you jump over the water there. That big, that massive seal is going up on the top behind the ma uh, the main coaster lift hill there. That will be exciting to watch. Here's just an overview of the site from the back, basically. And that whole area will be the mini land. They will be playing the games. And there's, again, the Donkey Kong meet and greet. There will be snacks. And it will be a fun time. And this nice little mini land, to, mini land to connect you to Super the rest of the makeup Super Nintendo world. Let's do a quick check on Starfall Racers real quick. The roofing for the station is moving on to its next phase of color, which looks fantastic. And even see the flooring over there looking, looking very bricky or tiley has moved on to its next phase of construction. And most importantly, the comet here, the shooting star or comet, has been um, ramping up as well. Lots of scaffolding and even some protective walls have been formed next to the side of the tracks where guests will pass up next to this fly, free-flying massive coaster. Speaking of that, look at that. This is just a big this coaster. You've seen this already. This coaster has been um, complete like this for a while now, but it's just massive. What a massive scale here. And that's going to do it. Yeah, that's about a nearly 20-minute Epic Universe update here. Uh, makes sense, though. It's the first in a month, so there's a lot to cover. I want to show you guys as much as we can. Thank you to Bio Reconstruct for filming our... Yeah, filming all this good stuff um, for us. And we'll be back, I'm sure, more consistently now that it's the end of the new year. So we'll have many more updates every couple of weeks or so. If you like this video, please press that like button and subscribe for more Theme Park and Epic Universe updates. If you want to see some early access to these videos, then make sure to check out my Patreon. Contribute there, patreon.com slash club722. And check out my Discord where we have, have discussions of all things Theme Park, Epic Universe, Universal Studios Hollywood, Disneyland, and much more. If you like um, if you like this video, guys, press the thumbs up, and then guess what? Have an epic day.